शांति दिस इज दी सागर मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन दिस ओल्ड वर्ल्ड इज नाउ टू चेंज देर फॉर हैव नो लव फॉर इट रिमेंबर योर न्यू होम ऑफ हैवन क्वेश्चन वट मैथड डज दी फादर टीच ऑल यू चिल्ड्रन टू मेक यू कॉन्स्टेंटली हैप्पी आंसर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी कॉन्स्टेंटली हैप्पी लेट योर हर्ट बिलोंग टू दी वन फादर रिमेंबर ओनली दी फादर दी फादर कैन नेवर कॉज सॉरो फॉर हिज चिल्ड्रेन इन हैवन no one's husband or child ever dies this business of untimely death doesn't exist there here maya ravan continues to make you unhappy baba is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness song o mother and father of mine have mercy on those who are unhappy Om Shanti that one is the same mother and father and he is once again teaching raj yoga to make everyone constantly happy just as a barrister gives knowledge on how to become a barrister so do that unlimited mother and father the creator of heaven now sits here and gives you children teachings on how to become the masters of heaven There isn't any other knowledge where God sits and teaches. Here, God Himself sits and teaches you in order to make you into gods and goddesses. The golden age at Lakshmi and Narayan are called a god and goddesses, who made them into the masters of the new world. They were the masters of the golden age. the kingdom of deities began in bharat at the beginning of the golden age it is now the iron age and there is no longer the kingdom of deities all the deities have changed and become poverty stricken human beings the deities were very wealthy and happy now because it is the end of the iron age all human beings are extremely unhappy When the war begins human beings will cry out in great distress they will become homeless human beings have become orphans because they do not know the mother and father who gives the happiness of heaven you now belong to that mother and father you receive limitless happiness from the mother and father When people do devotion they cannot be remembering God because they have pushed him into the pebbles and stones the cats and dogs or they consider themselves to be God they say that God is present in everyone to say that God is present in impure human beings is defamation human beings have to make this mistake in the drama and the father has to come to free them from this mistake human beings are not able to understand that god is only one there cannot be thousands there are many physical fathers even animals have physical fathers but there is only the one bestower of salvation and purifier for all that father comes and teaches you children for the future he makes you into gods and goddesses who could make you into gods and goddesses apart from the supreme father the supreme soul since he is the father how could he create the world without a mother the people of bharat and you too cry out in distress on the path of devotion You are our mother and father and through your mercy we receive limitless happiness. This is why we do devotion. When they worship someone they think that they are remembering God. 
Even sannyasis make a spiritual endeavor, but they don't know whom they are making a spiritual endeavor for. By following Ravan's directions, they have forgotten everything. So then, what can the father do? For them to become so unhappy and poverty-stricken is also fixed in the drama. The father comes once again to make you children into the masters of heaven. The one who makes you into the masters of heaven is the mother and father from beyond. And the one who makes you into the masters of hell is Ravan. You now have to gain victory over that Ravan. You are now becoming conquerors of Maya and of the world. You are not going to rule a kingdom in the old world. You have to gain victory over Maya and then rule the kingdom in the heaven. By being defeated by Maya, you come into hell. No impure human being can explain any of these aspects, nor can he make anyone pure. The entire world is impure. They are born through poison. The deities are all virtuous, 16 celestial degrees full. There, there is no mention of poison. No one knows who God is. And so what benefit is there in adopting a guru? They themselves are not able to meet God. So how could they enable others to meet God? Souls and the Supreme Soul have been separated for a very long time. Therefore, in order for the meeting to take place, you need the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Himself. People don't even understand that this drama is about to end. This drama continues from the beginning of the Golden Age to the end of the Iron Age and it has to repeat. By understanding the knowledge of this drama, you become rulers of the globe. You understand how you take 84 births. This auspicious age is a leap age in which you take a final birth. You now have to belong to the father. The father says, O oh children, belong to me. You even say, O oh Supreme Father, Supreme Soul. You cannot say this to a worldly father. Now the father from beyond the world says, I have come. All your maternal uncles and paternal uncles etc. are going to finish. This old world is changing and the great Mahabharat is ahead of you. All of those numerous religions are to be destroyed. This is the old world in which there are many religions. There is only one religion in the golden age. This world is now going to change and so have no love for it. When a worldly father builds a new house, his children only have the new house in their hearts. They think when the new building is ready, we will go and sit in the new house and demolish the old one. This entire world is now to be destroyed. Children have had visions of how everything is set on fire, how there is torrential rain and how the ocean etc. has such huge tidal waves. You have had visions of all of those things. When Baba goes to Bombay, he explains that Bombay didn't exist before. It used to be a small village. The land was reclaimed from the sea. When history repeats, this Bombay will not be as huge as it is now. There will not be a village like Bombay in the Golden Age. What are those countries such as America etc? They will all be destroyed with a single bomb. What happened 
when they dropped a bomb on hiroshima the whole city was destroyed that was just one single bomb they have now made many bombs they also say that the father has come to establish the new world ravan makes it old and turns it into hell the residents of bharat do not know this maya has put such a godrej lock on everyone's intellect that they do not unlock human beings are very unhappy although the wealthy are happy they still fall ill and become diseased today a baby is born and they are happy tomorrow the baby dies and they are unhappy when someone becomes a widow she weeps all the time this is called a land of sorrow bharat was a land of happiness now it is an old world of sorrow the father is again making it into a land of happiness the father says now claim your inheritance so for this you definitely have to remember him because all bodily relations cause sorrow you now understand that no one except the one father can give happiness you say baba we are the same children whom you made into the masters of heaven we are now unhappy you are merciful it is because you are unhappy that you call out to me when you become happy in the golden age none of you will none of you will call out to me everyone remembers god at times of sorrow but no one can meet him for instance a devotee remembers hanuman okay where does hanuman live in order to go to hanuman where do you have to go human beings do devotion in order to go to the land of liberation and the land of liberation in life where would they go by remembering hanuman or ganesh etc where do they reside what will you receive from them they don't know anything the father explains i am the only one in the world who gives you happiness it is not that god gives happiness and that he also causes sorrow nor is it that he grants a child and so gives happiness and then takes the child away causing sorrow the father says i give you only constant happiness it is maya who snatches your happiness away from you things such as someone's child dying or someone's husband dying never happen in the golden age whereas here in the iron age world of maya there is always someone's child or husband dying this business does not take place in heaven here it is hell the father now says if you want to be constantly happy belong to the father both you those souls and your bodies are now tamo pradhan it is not that souls are immune to the effect of action it is souls that have alloy mixed with them this is the reason why your jewelry has also become iron age you are now taking knowledge again in order to become golden age the father comes and makes you immortal and takes you to the land of immortality here it is the land of death these words are also mentioned in the gita there will be no sorrow from the beginning through the middle to the end in the land of immortality there is sorrow from the beginning through the middle to the end in the land of death you have to forget such a land of sorrow and remember the land of peace and the land of happiness we are going to the land of happiness via the land of peace 
where we reside. This is also the discuss of self-realization. Remember your father and your sweet home. When a girl leaves home to go to her in-laws home, people saying you are going from your father's home to your in-laws home. So this is your father Brahma's home. Then you will go to heaven to your in-laws home. There, there is nothing but happiness. Whereas here, there is only sorrow. A girl also leaves home for happiness, but she is made impure and unhappy there. The father now explains, I have come to sit you in my eyes and take you to the heaven. Simply remember me. You will not experience any sorrow there. Some children have seen how Krishna takes birth. A vision is seen beforehand. When a soul is about to leave his body, he has a vision at that time of how he will save his body and become a prince. The soul simply leaves the body and goes and sits in the palace of a womb. There is no difficulty at the time of a baby being born. There you have only happiness in the palace of a womb. Here the womb is a jail. Those who steal or commit some crime go to the government's jail. Neither of these jails exist there. No one commits any sin etc. there. That is called the world of pure and charitable souls. The father sends you to heaven. When people see so many making effort, they think why shouldn't I too claim my inheritance from the father and become ever happy. Some do penance in an attempt to free themselves from their bondage of karma. They think it would have been better if I hadn't had children. When some who are married come into knowledge, they think if we had known about this before, we would not have married. Many write this. But they come when their fortune opens up and that also depends on whether they like it. Tell them experience becoming a child of the father for a week and if you like it, then belong to him. Otherwise, you can go and belong to your physical mother and father. There are no fees. This is Sibaba's treasure store. You are not made to buy books, etc. Only the murlis are sent to you. These are the father's treasures, so why would he take any fee? Yes, if you like it, then print literature for the poor. There is no other country as charitable as Bharat. The father comes and donates to Bharat. You children hand over your bodies, minds and wealth to the father. You become great donors. This Baba became a great donor, did he not? Previously, you used to donate indirectly. He himself has now come to you directly to give you the kingdom of heaven in return. It is a very inexpensive bargain, is it not? He says, now make others similar to yourselves. Conquer the vices. Become soul conscious and consider yourselves to be souls. They sing, we came bodiless and we will return bodiless. First of all, it is deity souls that come. Then those of the second number follow. The head souls are those of the deity religion. Those who come first are also the ones to leave first. They have all round parts. All of these aspects have to be understood. If it isn't your fortune, you are able to understand these aspects instantly. If it is not in your fortune, your heart is not in it. 
the father says now remember me i am your father god the father no face or crocodile is god no one except the father can explain these things acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found serviceable children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 surrender your body mind and wealth to the father and become a great donor do the service of making others similar to yourself remain soul conscious second forget this old world the land of sorrow and remember the land of peace and the land of happiness never become trapped in any bondage of karma blessing may you be a detached and free from bondage with the practice of coming and going the essence of this whole study of knowledge is coming and going you have the happiness in your intellect of going home and then going into the kingdom however only those who constantly practice coming and going will be able to return happily become stable in the bodiless stage whenever you want and become karmatit whenever you want this practice has to be very firm to achieve this let no bondage attract you to itself any bondage makes a soul tight and you have to struggle to remove tight clothes therefore be constantly detached and make the lesson of remaining free from bondage firm slogan keep your account of happiness full and everyone will continue to experience happiness from your every step slogan keep your account of happiness full and everyone will continue to experience happiness from your every step om shanti